Know thine enemy. The kill will be in Britain the day after tomorrow. Cowley will be in a top security area. And therefore at his most relaxed. The rabbit in his warren, the badger in his set, the best time to strike. For you or for them? Sometimes I think you like to make things difficult for yourself, otherwise you, you, you lose the stimulation. Hmm? I am the best, the very best. And so, by all accounts, is he. When you kill him, you have to take care. That is why I don't intend to run. A safe place to hide. A place of many comforts. A private plane at my disposal. Mitchell, one of the ten wealthiest men in the world. I know of him, of course. You know him, you can trust him? No, but he has a daughter. <laughs> Mr. Mitchell, if you value your daughter's life. Who am I? What do I want? Banal questions, but I will answer them. I am the man who holds your daughter's life in his hands. What do I want? Cooperation. <laughs> of terror, crimes against the public. To combat it, I've got special men, experts from the army, the police, from every service. These are the professionals. How'd you get out? Oh, I lost him again. Hey. Telling you go. Yeah. I found out about her. She's good and bad news. Yeah? Yeah. The good news is she likes men. I don't care about the bad news. Women's liver. Equality. <laughs> the way to her heart, and all places south, yeah. is to let her beat you. You put me on. Yeah. Remember, you've got to let her be, all right? Yeah. She subdues you now, yeah. and then back at her place, you... Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. See, would you, would you like an HQ, you know? The cow can wait a few minutes? Well, the cow can wait a few yeah, minutes. Yeah, man, that's all right. All right, cow. Uh, you like some? Uh, Hello. How's your work up? Out. Out.
You do anything on Saturday? Sorry. Still in the mood, babe. Weekend planned on the coast. Pick you up about 10.30 on Saturday morning. Okay? Love to. Sorry about that. But I couldn't possibly go out with someone I feel superior to. <laughs> Made it. A mistake, right? Or was that what it was? A mistake, yeah. Feel superior to me, <laughs> kid. <laughs> Yeah. On the map, put them off. Oh, Cowley will be waiting. We're linked. Put them off. Buddy. You could have gone back where you started. Hello, Hello Freddy. You get time off, don't you? Of course he gets time off. He's doing a proper job, working. Uh. All right, Freddy. He wants to see you in his office ten minutes ago. Ah, he only told you to say that. Ah, you never know. It might be something important for once. The International Anti-Terrorist Conference starts tomorrow. Yes, sir, we know. He thought it was going to be Brighton. What? <laughs> he had a dirty weekend lined up. A mixed business with pleasure, Bodie. Well, you said stand by. Oh, that was yesterday. And today? A job for you, specific. Yeah? Nursemaids. Oh, no. Who? Oh. A certain former U.S. Secretary of State. Harbinger? In person, Dr. Ernest Harbinger. I didn't know he was coming. Good. Well, what about his own Secret Service man? This is our show. While he's inside our barbed wire, he's our baby. Just the same, we better check it. the middle of the northeast sector. Right, I'll take that side. Make sure you check every inch. Which way is the River Kwai? Eh, Colonel? River Kwai. Hmm. This here fort was built to keep the redskins at bay, Sean. Yep. Reckon as how anybody would have a hard time taking this here stockade, General. Great field of fire. Yeah. But damn all protection. <laughs> Not the point, is it? Nobody's gonna storm the place. <laughs> what? Movement. Where? No. Nervy? Must be. anything out except vermin. Tell them it's a false alarm.
This is what tripped the wire. It seems likely. Yes, except that I take nothing for granted. If it tripped the wire, it would have been electrocuted, but it wasn't. It died of a broken neck. So somebody put it there? To make us think. Exactly. I hate rats. I can't bear them. But this one did me a favor. As a direct result, the Ministry have installed their latest sensor equipment. Now, nothing can get in. Not even a rat undetected. One of the problems, Mr. Cowley, is that you people in the West are too damn soft. Oh, I don't make the rules shake. I just carry them out. Nevertheless, you must have views of your own. Sure. I'd like to be able to shoot every terrorist in sight, but... Uh... And you, Dr. Harbinger, would you have them shot, these hyenas? Sheikh Akmiga, that is a very loaded question, and you know it is. Always the clever diplomat, eh, Doctor? We're not around the conference table now. Everything we say is off the record. Right, Mr. Cowley? Well, you see, I learned the hard way that the one sure way to get yourself quoted is to talk off the record. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, gentlemen. If your governments won't take a firm line on terrorism, you should ship all your suspected terrorists to us in Morani. We know how to deal with them. And we don't have an electorate to please. Well, I'll remember your kind offer when I get back home. There are quite a few people I'd be delighted to send to you. <laughs> no problems? Except my stomach. Ah, uh, they'll be going into dinner soon. Great menu. Yeah. Hey, maybe we should taste all Harbinger's food before he eats it. Oh, if you're that hungry, why don't you take a break now? I'll stay here. Take mine later. You sure? Sure. It's over there. What is? A naffy canteen. Naffy canteen? This is Mitchell's house. Gates kept shut? Yes. Electrically operated from the house. How'd you get him to open up? Remote control. as a phone and TV camera. You install that? Yes. Everything. All the alarms. The whole system, I tell you. <laughs> you put it in so I can take it out. Now look, drive on, please. Don't panic, Squire. We're going to be rich, you and me. Rich. But not as rich as him or any of that lot. Never mind, son. We've all got to start somewhere. <laughs> now you will be good while I'm away. We mustn't keep her hungry, must we? My daily jogging. In my position, it's important to stay fit. And mine, it's important to stay alive. Oh, same thing. And not in a suit that color. Oh? Too conspicuous, makes you an easy target. Well, I'll just have to keep moving. Yes, but not alone. Oh, you join me. Oh, I'd love to, but... Uh... Oh, too bad. Never mind. I can always delegate. Snap. At least it reduces the odds. And now it's only one and three. Mr. Cowley, you're gonna go far.
morning, Mr. Cowley. Oh, good morning, Shaker Mayor. Has the mail arrived? Oh, not yet, sir. It'll still be on its way from London. I'm expecting urgent documents. So are we all. Have some coffee while you're waiting there. Waiter, another coffee here. How much further? Uh, not far. Relax. It's all right for you. I'm responsible for all that mail back there. <laughs> well, that's what you get for having a cussy job at the ministry, isn't it? Better than being down here with your lot. No, that's not soldiering. I mean, clerks are... Hello? What's that, then? You watch it. Could be an ambush. He could be dying. Yeah, well, I'll wait here. Right. Looks like a heart attack. He's in a bad way. Oh, it's Felix Paul. I can't find it. Here, I think he's really going to croak. Bring the first aid kit. <coughs> Look at his colour. His pulse is all over the place. Mr. Cowley, you did promise that the mail truck would be here on time every morning. The guard room. Well, oh, guard room, the mail truck from London. Oh, thank you. It's just coming up to the gate now. Remember, one glance out of place, and I blow your guts clean out, right? You're late, Dixie. Yeah, sorry, Sergeant. Uh, traffic. My fault, Sergeant. The mail took longer to sort than I expected. Clarks. What's your name, Corporal? Corporal Marshal, Sergeant. Ministry of Defence. Who asked you, Dixie? All right, on your way. And get a move on this, screaming for this lot. must continue. I'm sorry. Sorry? Hey, you just saved my life. I shouldn't have had to.
Well? Gone. Damage? Two guards gassed. He'll be OK. We've got one corporal from the MOD dead. Shot in the back. The driver? Oh, he's got a headache. And uh, shock. He's still throwing up. He'll do more than that when I get to him. He gave us a description. Yes? You're not going to like it. Ramos. In this country? It fits. This guy's got class. Yeah, he's good. What the hell are intelligence doing? We should have known. We should have been warned. Yep. Find him. Yeah? It's down to you, the pair of you. Find him before he tries again. Next time we may not be so lucky, I might not be around. And bring him back in one piece. I want to know who sent him, who's paying him. You're sure this is the right spot? Of course I'm sure. That big tree, it kept dropping its branches and breaking the electronic beam, so we had to leave a gap. <sighs> For pity's sake, you promised. As soon as the job was over. The job is not over. I failed. Do you understand that? Ramos has failed. But my daughter... My target is still alive. Then he's alerted. Why didn't you cut your losses? Ramos does not admit to losses. I have nothing but my reputation for a hundred percent success. A hundred percent. This is an excellent cognac. Which way in? First floor window. There. Right, come on. Come on. What is it? I thought I saw somebody. I doubt it. With my security system. Let's get out of here. Come back another time. Come back? Careful. It's as dangerous getting out as getting in. <gasps> What's that? Oh, my God. It's a police alarm. What? They must have installed their own system. What happens? It sounds direct to the police station. We probably oh. tripped it on the way in. Oh, my well, God. run! Not the yard, not the special branch, not the police anti-terrorist squad, CI-5. Do you understand? Listen, I want full cooperation, and I mean full, do you understand? Now, you tell every station in the country I want him found. Ramos! Commanders. Enjoy that, Constable. Yeah. How about you? Nothing. <coughs> Nobody. Not even a whisper. How good is this bastard? Ah, come on, move. Oh. Open the cage. Here we go again. Oh. Oh. You are Samuel Arthur Martin, a 47B Increment Street. Look, I'll do a deal with you. Church town. Well, what sort of deal can you do? Oh, um, he's deaf and blind. Come on, what sort of deal? Make you famous. Oh, sure. Samuel Arthur Martin. You want him? Ramos. I can tell you where he is, if you'll forget about it tonight. Put him down. Hey? What do you mean, put him down, eh? Hey? Lock the door. Gratitude. About time. Can I go now? No. Uh oh, you've got visitors. Visitors? For me? Yeah, and the best of luck. This is your territory, Constable. Was. Well. Where is he? Who? Ramos, where is he? Look, I said I'd do a got deal. Much time, you've got five seconds. So. You've got five seconds to answer the question starting now. What about? Three. He said Mitchell's place. Mitchell Hope. With Lord Mitchell. The, the oil millionaire? Yes. How do you know? I saw him tonight. What were you doing at Mitchell's house? Trying to knock it off. I figured. How do you know it was Ramos? I've seen his pictures. Where was he? In the house with Mitchell. Anybody else for him? No, no. My mate was in the bushes hiding. What was he wearing? 
Ramos. Uh, black sweater, black trousers. Anything else? No. Oh, yes, he had something around his neck. Uh, a medal like. Gold. Can I go now? No. Your city rig, Mr. Mitchell. You do cut a conventional figure. You're going to take a drive into town. We've got him pinned down. Local CID are providing extra surveillance. Now, what about Mitchell? Looking after him. Willingly? Our little thief says they were easy together. Mitchell and Ramos. Yeah. Mitchell's one of the world's richest men. Why should he shelter a character like Ramos? Who else could afford him? Ah, shades of Dallas. The conference has still got 36 hours to run. Bring him in. What, both of them? Ramos will do for starters. Huh. Glad about that. And quietly, eh? Well? Mitchell left yeah. about 45 minutes ago. Alone? As far as I could tell. Which way did he go? That way, towards London. We got a man on him? No, I got the local police to tail him. Dodgy. Short notice. Yeah. You? What did Father say? Bring Ramos out, alive and well. Great. How? Didn't say, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, as far as I can tell, Ramos is in there on his own. Apart from his guns. Yeah, so how do we, um... Uh, no. Yeah? Uh, they've lost him. Mitchell? Yeah. Wonderful. How? Oh, I don't know. London traffic. The house. You still got surveillance, though? Yeah, no yeah, problem. Right, call them off. What? Call your boys off like it never happened, right? Yeah. Well, I don't understand. Do you think there'll be some shooting? You better hope not. These are all we've got. He's got a rifle, at least. Look, I'm not sure I can help you. I mean... You better make sure. And no mistakes. Can't we wait till it gets dark, at least? No. You set? Set. Come on. Let's go. You sure this is the spot? Cheer up, son. This might be a chance to be a hero. Right, come on. Up. Oh. Here you go. Think no. This way. Right, come on. There's a pressure pad buried. So? The branch there. There's a beam here somewhere. There. So how did you get past? Under. Walton said it was set for 18 inches. Right. Down. How do we get in? First floor window. There, you can climb up that trellis. I'll take that. I've got a better head for heights. I've got to cover you then. Right. Give me three minutes inside, and then come round to the front. I'll open the front door for you. What about me? You're not going to leave Stay me. Stay here and keep quiet. Well, keep your head down unless you want to get it blown off. Hold it.
met you. What? Well, I've met you. What is this? What are you doing in my house? But if you're here, who? Ramos, it was Ramos in the car. I don't Jesus. know what you're talking about. Who are you? CI5, Mr. Mitchell. We want you and your house guest. I don't have a house guest. Can't come bursting here like this. Do you have a warrant? Listen, we haven't got much time. Where is he? Get the hell out of here. Listen, Mr. Mitchell. Well, I don't know why you want Harbinger dead. Harbinger? But no. it's our job to keep him alive. We need this information, and we're not fussy how we get it. Afterwards, you can scream all you like. You may be one of the world's richest men, but that won't help you here. Now, where is he? I don't know what you mean. You're in a lot of trouble, Mr. Mitchell. If Ramos kills Harbinger, you'll be charged with murder, too. If you hire a killer... No, I did not. We know he was here. He was seen with you. Now, listen. We're going to take you out of here, and we're going to lock you up anyway. Oh, no, for, for God's sake, no. I, I, I have to stay here. Why? He's got Mandy. My daughter, Mandy. He's kidnapped her. He's holding her hostage. If anything happens to him, she'll die. No one else knows where she is. I have to stay here. By the phone. Sit down, Mr. Mitchell. Thanks for your help. If you need me again any time, don't bother. Now, Mitchell won't be making any charges, but keep him locked up for a few hours for his own safety. Yeah, how long? Oh, till tonight. Should be okay, then. He's loose. We don't know where. You don't know? No. And Mitchell doesn't know what Ramos is up to. Except that he's going to finish the job that he came for. Get down here. There's only a few hours before the conference breaks up and Harbinger leaves for home. If Ramos is going to try again, it's got to be soon. Yes, sir. It's been a most interesting experience, Mr. Cowley. I've learnt a great deal. But I still say you should follow the example of Morani and execute all terrorists without hesitation. Well, that may be your way, Sheikh Ahmeya. It can't be ours. Goodbye. Well, thanks for everything, Mr. Cowley. We survived, Doctor. Right. You know, I reckon it was your quick thinking that scared off Ramos. Perhaps. Goodbye, Mr. Cowley. Bye, Doctor. Follow him to the airport, see him onto the plane, and then report to my office. And uh, well done, buddy. Hey, okay, buddy. The badger in his set, huh? Where he feels most secure. I've seen enough. Side entrance. Well? Safely on his way. No problems. That's the target gun, anyway. Is it? 
Harbinger. No. Not Harbinger? Who? Me. Side entrance or not, it will be manned, patrolled. I know it. The angle those bullets hit the doorway, not just one, but three of them. Well, that's a lovely bit of grouping at that range. Now, there's no way those shots could have been aimed at Harbinger down here. Ramos is too good for that sort of mess. And the only person standing by the door yeah. was me. Think of something to give me a moment's diversion. All right. Give me that book. Take him. Now we know. Oh. Like a tiger with a sacrificial goat. You? Right. A trap with you as bait. Like it. Risky. Yeah, but effective. Where? Ramos is good. He'll know my routine, everything. So? I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not mad about it myself. Now, if you were Ramos, put yourselves inside his head. Where would you be most vulnerable? Now, come on, it's Where crazy. Where you feel safe, like he did. Behind the security fences before. At home. Right. That's where I'd normally go after finishing this conference room to bed. Stay here, then. He'll try to get there before you. All ah, right, buddy. So what are we waiting for? You two go on ahead. Well, sleep here tonight. You've done it before. Here's my spare door keys. If you're fast enough, you'll be there before him. And you? Oh, I'll give you half an hour to get set up. Then I'll follow you as though nothing's happened. I'll take a shower here to freshen up, help sharpen the reflexes. You don't need to come. Ah, uh, he'll probably wait to follow me in. It's crazy. It's too risky. You heard the man. If you want to catch a tiger, or lose a good goat. Broken down. Clean is more like. Quicker on foot. Right. Supposed to be. He's not supposed to go out for tea. Ready. Ready. Bodie. He's here. the alarm? Yeah. Thanks. You might be caught with your pants down, else. I'll deal with that. Bring him round. Right. <coughs> a man could drown. I wouldn't try anything, cop. Who are you <coughs> calling a cop? Not if you want to find your girl alive. Okay, so where is she? Safe. Till about eight o'clock in the morning. Then? If you don't get to her, she dies. Okay, so talk. Okay, fast. No, you talk fast. What do you mean? There's a plane leaving London Airport, 7.45. First stop, Aden. When I'm safely aboard that plane, 
I'll tell you where the girl is. Otherwise, no deal. Deal? You're in no position to make deals. You're going to jail for life, mate. I don't think so. Right, Mr. Carley? <sighs> Listen, you could die in this room. Nobody knows you're here. <sighs> My friends know if they don't see me tomorrow. Anyway, what good would that do you? Kill me. You'll never find a girl. Put me in jail. You'll never find a girl. And your friends take steps to secure your release, eh? You just can't win. Do I have a deal? Sorry to disturb you, sir. Cowley, we have a slight problem. <laughs> the combat school can manage without you for a couple of days. Your fitness is more valuable here. Ticket, keep an eye on him, but don't make contact of any sort, understood? And the other, you know what to do. On your way, then. Yeah. Well, well, where's the girl? I hope you have a fast car. They start work at eight.
Ramos was right. No government in his right mind wants a terrorist like him in one of his jails. It means nothing but trouble, hostages, blackmail, hijacking. Cowley. Sheikh Achmea, this is a surprise. Yeah? Ah, yes. Well, thank you for letting me know. <laughs> Not at all. Goodbye. Ramos's plane had to divert to Morani before it got to Aden. An emergency. Ramos? I tried to leave the plane. It was shot and killed by one of Sheikh Achmea's security guards. Oh, how sad. Why did the plane have to divert? One of the other passengers apparently had a heart attack. Is it, um, anybody we know? Susie. Looking great, babe. Hi, right, kid. Nice to see you. Hey, me. 